Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching one more time. And here we are. And today, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I have a special helper next to me. Helper. Yes. And today we're going to talk about baby essentials. And this is going to be a serious... This is going to be a series of newborn essentials that I will be doing um, based on my experience and my personal opinion on things that I use. Now, the in, on this uh, part of the series, we're going to be talking especially about medicines and, and grooming supplies for your newborn baby and your infant. Uh, really, I've used these things from the day my, my kids were born to the day, you know, to how old my son is and he's four years old now. So this is really important for you to have in the house at all the time. And also if you're planning on a long road trip and things like that. And then I also wanted to add that I recommend one of the tips that I can give you, one of the tips that I can give you as an experienced mother, it's not to buy, not to spend $20 or $15 on those emergency kits that come in the store that supposedly have everything inside them and they really don't. So what I did, I did that the first time around. I got it, mommy. Yes, you got it. The second time around, however, I did not do that. And the third time around, which is now, I'm preparing for my newborn's need and I also didn't do that. And I'm glad that I didn't do it. I bought everything separate. I ended up spending the same amount of money and I actually got what I needed. Because when you buy the kids... The kid, all you're going to get is the, you know, it's a hair, uh, a hair brush or a hair comb um, and some nail clippers and, and uh, something to give medicine with that most of the time, most of the time it doesn't even work. And so what I'm giving you here, it's really what should be going on inside those emergency kits and what you really are going to need in case of an emergency with your, um, with your kid, at least in my per personal experience. Oh, yes, very nice. Are we going to close it? Close it. No, see? Oh, my goodness. We have made your spill now. See? Why, mommy, say close it? Okay, give me your hand. Hi, guys. <laughs> guys, give me your hand. Echa esta cremita. And we go like this, okay? Ready to be my helper? All right, guys. So, first thing. Hi, guys. I know you do when they go get. Okay, the first thing on our list is hand sanitizer. I'm not really a fan of a hand sanitizer as much. I am more of the kind of girl that you will see washing her hair, hey. her hand constantly. However, there are some cases where you're going to use this hand sanitizer in, and maybe you feel more comfortable than me. I trust most washing my hands with hand and soap rather than using the hand sanitizer. But either way, it's a must have for when you don't have time to get on the bathroom and, and, and wash your hands or when you are receiving a visitor in the house and you want them to hand sanitize their hands before they actually get to, um, to touch the baby. Oh, hold on, this is like really hard to open. All right, hand sanitizer. Number two, you are going to need um, some sort of baby hey, wash. I hey. use that Johnson & Johnson bedtime baby wash. Yeah, you can. And the reason why I use this is because it's super awesome. You want to have your bedtime to be um, around bedtime so that the kids are more calm when they you know, take a bath and then they'll go to sleep and you want to get that newborn baby into a routine of a nighttime routine as soon as possible so that it's easier for you to manage um, the schedule and, and to manage your life especially if you have all the kids if this is going to be your second or third or so on and so on um, so this is the kind that I always use and it's really nice if you are not going to use it because your baby has like really sensitive kids then I use the Avino okay. one which was happen yes sweetie okay which was what happened with my son. He had really sensitive skin, so I ended up having to change the Johnson & Johnson one for the Avino one. But other than that, I love the Johnson & Johnson one because it has like really amazing smell. The other thing that you're going to need is 
uh, some sort of cream because when you're done bathing that baby before he, go, he or she goes to sleep, you want to massage the whole body from head to toe, like they say. So this is the kind that I use, the Johnson & Johnson Head to Toe Extra Moisturizing Baby Cream. Um, you can use any kind of moisturizing baby cream that you want for your baby and it's just nice to rub it on their, um, on their legs and feet and everything that after they have the bath and right before they go to bed okay. or before you uh, start feeding them to go to bed. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, we're going to get into the diaper rash subject. Don't go crazy and buy the, the butt paste diaper rashes cream and the really heavy density one because most likely if your baby doesn't have like super extra sensitive skin you won't need any of those like with my son it was a different story than my daughter my son i had to have all sort of different diaper rashes cream because his skin was super super sensitive i actually ended up having to change him from disposable diapers to cloth diapers because of it ah. however my daughter did not have a diaper rash until she hey, was I know it. age 15 months when she started to be um you know potty trained and things like that and then because of the diaper oh. and how big she was she got a little bit of a diaper rash so what i recommend for you to have it's i got one of these it's a desitin one but it's a multi-purpose White Protellium Skin Protective. It helps treat and prevent diaper rashes. Okay, sweetie. Now, this is not the white thick one. This is more like a Protellium Jelly one. It's um, it doesn't have a bad smell. Hi guys. Yes, hi guys. It's odorless, and you would use it if you want to. If not, as so long as you're changing that diaper often, and you maintain that area dry. You don't really need to go crazy with uh, powder and, and diaper rashes cream and things like that. Don't use it. You don't really need to. The other thing that you're going to use, and I'm going to get more into the what's going to happen, you know, for the umbilical cord and for when your baby gets sick. For the umbilical cord, you're going to need uh, cotton swabs. I have a big packet like this, um, but you can get any size of packet you want, really. You're not going to need that many. Just a few for the uh, very first two weeks that your baby's going to be at home before the umbilical cord for, uh, falls off. You're going to need that and alcohol, which I don't have in here. It's just regular alcohol from the, you know, from your nearest pharmacy. And you're going to use that for cleaning the, uh, um, uh, around the umbilical cord of your newborn baby. You're going to need the alcohol regardless for when your baby is having a fever. It's nice to rub some alcohol with a piece of cloth on on the okay. neck, on the on the arms, like between the arms like this, and on the palm of the feet. Um, just those places that really, really get hot and, and put it on the forehead. That's really nice for when they have a fever. That's sort of a trick that my mother um, showed me. No, 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 okay, nice. Another thing that you're going to need for when your baby gets a call is baby rub um, soothing ointment. This is, uh, how do we say it in Cuba language? Viva uh, I think. It's this, and you're going to need it. Um, you're going to put it around your baby's uh, nose to um, decongest them. You're gonna put it on the forehead and on the neck to hurt with the to help with the coughing. Uh, you are going to need some sort of baby um, gripe uh, water. It's the little remedies gripe water, and I use it for whenever um, my my kids had like gas or anything like that. I also gave them a lot of tea, um, like chamomile tea and. Uh, an Easter tea, and those were 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 good as work good for oh my god work good for the gases as well. Um, you're gonna need some sort of baby Tylenol. Uh, infant, you have to make sure that it's the infant one for babies that are under 24 months of age. I always get this um sort of trouble size one. 
because it's nice to have it on my purse if I'm going I on, a, on a long trip or anything like I that. Do and I have it in here. And I I have all these things on a box that I keep under my um, daughter's changing table. And that way everything is on the same place. So you're going to need... I actually have a few more stuff because I have the medicine for my other kids too. Um, you're going to need what she's playing with, which is one of these to get the boogers out. This is the kind that I like. The thing that I'm going to tell you about this is that it's really tri um, trial and error. So don't really go over the reviews and get the most expensive one. Try out a few of the ones that you can afford that are on the store and see how it works. Uh, the ones in the hospital are great, but I don't like them because the tip of it is really long. The one that is too sucking is also great. Um, it takes a lot of the boogies out, the long one that looks like a sort of like a needle or something that you put on your mouth and then on the nose of the baby. The only reason why I don't use it is because it's so, uh, it's a little too much to have around my purse. Um, so this is the one that I always like, something that's thick on the bottom, that's really soft for when I press the boogers in and out, and something that looks like that on the top, so that it's easier for my baby's um, nose to go in. The other thing is, for a newborn, it's best to have one of these little um, syringe to give the medicine with. That works best for newborns. These were best for toddlers. I have the both of them always at home. I make sure I always have either one. This one is going to be for my newborn. It comes with this, so you don't actually buy it separate. Um, so it does come with the Tylenol, with the baby infant Tylenol, if you buy it. And this, I used to give the medicine for my older kids. Some sort of thermometer, easy thermometers that I recommend is this one. This is, uh, this is only $10 in the pharmacy. And you just put it over the baby's forehead, even when the baby's sleeping, you press the button, it gives you a reading in like less than a minute. Other than this, I recommend the pacifier um, thermometer, which is the same cups that you put a, the baby pacifier in. It'll You press the button and it'll read uh, the temperature on your baby's body. A nail clipper. I got the baby nail clipper um, because their nails somehow are always long. They grow like every two seconds. What my daughter has in here, which is the Simply Saline hey. Nail Companies. This is the kind that we always get. I get it for my oldest. Oh, He's four years old. And I got and I be using it with them oh, since they're oh. newborn. Oh. Other than that, um a pacifier to soothe them. That's something else that I have in here. Uh but that's really old that you're gonna need. Um hey, if you really wanna go for it. You can get a uh, humidifier and, de and a dehumidifier. Too, one of those is the go. one that uses the uh, big macaroon tool inside of them. It's and it's nice for when they have a really bad cold. But that's just night. something out of the expensive, you know, sign that it's really only if you can um, afford, I guess. I had it with her, but I don't like to buy it all the time because it's something that you have to stick around in your room. And you're gonna have to live with it. And besides that, it's something that I only use whenever she was sick, which was not very often. So really think about spending your money on it if you have like a baby that gets sick all the time, like my son was. I had to have one in my room regardless with my son because my son was like, he had asthma and everything, so he was sick like all the time. Okay, can we say bye? And thank you for watching. Yes, dile, adioka, dile. Bye, thank you for bye. watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Let's get a little bye, bye, Until next time.